Hey, it's Ari again. I'm sorry I was kind of a slacker last week. I didn't actually get a video posted. I'm trying to do it every week, so I'm going to be better. Probably had something to do with the fact that I wrote a 12-page paper and had a midterm project, stuff like that. Anyway, today I want to talk about the role of family in my religion. Now, family is what our gospel is all about. We believe that when we're in loving relationships that we support each other and we show each other affection that we support in work and in school and in other activities that our joy is unimaginable and that when we base our family relationships on the teachings of the gospel of Jesus Christ then our joy is full so what we hope to do is in the future after we die live together in our families eternally with our Father in Heaven now I have a quote here from Harold B. Lee. He was our prophet in the 1970s. He said that the greatest work we will ever do will be within the walls of our own home. We will do important things like play with our friends, you know, spend time with other people we care about, work hard, go to school, get an education, all these different things. But the most important things we will do in this life have to do with the relationships we build with our families. This is because family is the same, I guess, pattern that our lives in the eternities will be based on. I have a quote here from a talk by Henry B. Eyring. He's in the presidency of our church right now. He said, Now that we are here in earth, we can picture ourselves home again with our heavenly parents in that wonderful place, not only as sons and daughters, but as husbands and wives, fathers and mothers, grandfathers and grandmothers, grandsons and granddaughters, bound together forever in loving families. What we want is eternal life in families, we don't just want it if that is what happens to work out, nor do we want something that might only seem to be approaching eternal life. We want eternal life, whatever it costs in effort, pain, and sacrifice. And this eternal life we will spend with our families. Not all families are perfect. There are some relationships that unfortunately there's abuse, both emotional and physical, between spouses or spouses and their children or just between family members and abuse is unacceptable in the eyes of God. There are also families that are imperfect. There might be families with just a mother, or with just a father, or children just living with relatives, or any type of situation you can imagine. However, those type of relationships are no less perfect in the eyes of God, as long as there's the same type of support and love shown towards one another, and attempts to live lives in accordance with the teachings of Jesus Christ as best that we can. It says in Jacob, one of the books, uh, one of the books in the Book of Mormon, where Jacob is speaking to Nephites, one group, and he's telling them not to hate the Lamanites because the Lamanites don't have the gospel. He said that, behold, their husbands love their wives, and their wives love their husbands, and their husbands and their wives love their children, and their unbelief and their hatred towards you is because of the iniquity of their fathers. Wherefore, how much better are you than they in the sight of your great Creator? God doesn't discriminate. He loves all families. He wants us to have loving families. The last thing I want to share with you is just a quote from this proclamation. It came out in 1995 from the First Presidency or the Prophet uh, of our church. And it said, We, the First Presidency, and the Council of the Twelve Apostles of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints solemnly proclaim that marriage between a man and a woman is ordained of God and that this family is central to the Creator's plan for the eternal destiny of His children. In the very end of that proclamation, they make this statement, We call upon responsible citizens and officers of government everywhere to promote these measures designed to maintain and strengthen the family as the fundamental unit of society. I know that families are ordained of God, and I know that we will live with our Father in Heaven forever in the eternities, and that we will spend that eternity with the families the relationships that we, are in now, that we are in now, that we love. I testify of the sanctity of marriage and of the sanctity of the family as a unit in the kingdom of God. And I say these things in the name of His Son, even Jesus Christ. Amen. He is the first ray of sun To reach above the mountain He's a gentle ocean breeze on my face 